Okay, thanks for watching today. Or I think we're going to have some fun. Um, I've sketched out a mountain here. And I'm going to just kind of go through and draw a sky and do a mountain and a lake. This is all in. I'm using gouache, I think it is today. That's how you say it. And so hopefully you can see this and my setup is good. But have some fun here. Start out up here in the sky. Get some sky going. Okay, get some paint up in here. Okay, let's look at our sky. Add a little water in that. Just to thin it down a little too much. Okay, and I come up here just so it flows. There we go. And you can also do this much easier. I use these little squirt bottles here. Spray it down. Let's see how it goes. There we go. Kind of hazy. See? There. We just want a blue sky, right? And this is just um, art paper. Canston, I think it's called. Come in and have a little fun here. See that? You can use water. And of course, it's going to, as soon as it gets water, it starts to heave up. But it's okay, we'll go right over them peaks. Bring it down. You can paint, this is easy. And you see what I'm doing is I'm bringing the, I'm bringing the, uh, too much there. I'm bringing the lighter color down, see? And you can just kind of blend it in with, well, that works good. And it's not killing my, go over here. You notice it's, and it, maybe these could be some little clouds in there. You can spray it. And the mister. There. These corners, go more up here, maybe. I want it darker up top. You can angle it, go this way. But I want an easy, quick, quick sky, because I don't want this to take long. I'll show you how fast you can do a neat little painting. The nice thing is when you put in a, when you add in this, uh, we might get some glare, but I, that's the way it's going to be. You can see it's a little bit there, but it'll dry. <laughs> there. When you can sketch out something, um, it kind of looks good, doesn't it? Okay. I'm going to grab a little bit of white. Come down here. Maybe not. A little bit of white on my brush. I don't know if you can see that. I can't get all, everything on here. Come down to the horizon or closer. Probably won't need too much water in the bottom as much as in the top, but there. See, just add a little lighter down here because usually it gets lighter towards the horizon. Right? Come down here, do the same thing. Keep my I'm just using this. Ooh, that's a little lighter than I wanted, so watch this. There we go. There. But it'll still work. Blend it up into the darker color. You know, it's going to be not as light when you get into the, you get up into the, you want it darker and then lighter as we come down. Okay, clean that brush off. That worked pretty good, pretty quick. It's usually the largest amount of paint you're putting on in the sky there. So I'm using my phone today. And so if I get a call, I'll have to stop it and maybe I'll, uh, Taken, uh, um, I'll take and uh, step away for a minute. Okay, and let's come back in here and start on the mountain. <sighs> See how easy that is? And I'm painting in a hotel room where I'm at work, away from home. And you can take, this is gouache, gouache, I don't know what you call it, paint, but it works out really good. Okay, now I'm going to take, and I use this guy to keep um, the paint dry on my palette. Over here I have some, I have some, uh, um, maybe I can turn this. Can you see that better? Yeah, see that? Maybe I can get that in there. Yeah, that'll work better. And so I'm going to do some mountains here. I'm going to need some, I'm going to get some blue and brown. 
This is some brown. I'm going to make my mountains. This is uh, burnt sienna. We'll add some of that in there. But we can take the blue. We'll mix it right, right here. Okay. Blue, get a little bit of crimson in there. Burnt sienna. How's that? more blue in there. Well, our mountain's going to stand out and grab a little white. We want a little white in there. More of that color. Sienna. There. There. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? A little white in there. Okay. I want to keep it... almost purpley, isn't it? More blue. There. Because these are looking kind of distant, so we don't want them too white. Right? And we're just going to come in and gonna put the mountains in. Okay. Oh, that looks cool. And this is a pretty good brush. Okay, come in on the top and just kind of follow the lines. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? It's there. There. And one thing we have to do is decide where our light is coming from. And today, I think it's going to come from the left. Okay. We'll say our light's coming from the left. And we'll just kind of come down here and follow that edge. Just kind of head that over that way. Pull this down, okay, on there, pull that down, you see that edge there, coming through, yeah, there we go, a little more blue in there, that's what I want, pull it that way, you see my, yeah, and then you can come over here, that's better, and we can come back in and do whatever, but this is just, and I'm only using this brush because it has a sharp edge on it. I'm just going to kind of put in where my darks might be and stuff. You can come back in and see. Just add some blue to it. Leave some holes in it if you want. Let's kind of come in that way. How's it looking there? I don't look too bad. Color doesn't look too bad there. Okay. It's a little darker side. And over here, on the lighter side, Add some more blue, maybe. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, pull it down. We can go over it. This is also in there. Come over here and pull that down. And it's just a general how you want your mountain to look. Come down here. Maybe get a little bump there. Come down and just be loose. There. That blue in there. More of that brown in there, maybe. There we go. Add that in. See a little mix. That looks better. No, it's not more of that sienna. Okay, sienna. Down. See? All that. That's where it splits. Okay. So what I'm saying there is this is where the mountain is sticking out, and then it's this is the front of it, right? And it comes down and Kind of just, just kind of grab some colors, some blue, some sienna. There, just have some fun. That's where our light's going to be. So we'll come back in and we can lighten it up. A little darker there. Got to have that blue in there too. Just play with color. Okay, there we go. There we go. Not bad. Let's come back up here. I want to use that sienna on this side. That just that doesn't look. That looks pretty good. I don't want that straight, so we'll fit. We can fix that after a little bit too. Okay, I got that there. Okay, we're gonna have our light coming from there, right? That looks pretty good. And then down here, we can get some blue in there. Just kind of. 
and then you're going to have it coming this way, some more of that darker color. Okay, and I want that coming here. This is our water line, okay? Right here. Yeah, it's going to come, come up there. And then there's going to be some water there, so you just kind of have a little fun there. You're going the opposite direction. And that flattens out. We can fix, we can change all that around, but basically we just want a nice little mountain shape in the background. And the mountain got kind of big, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's come over here and get some more color on that. There we go. Grab this. Kind of flatten it out a little bit. Okay. And we could get more color in here. I think we might. Gosh, that's got a lighter stuff here and there. That's the way we know what the what way is it going, right? Okay, a little bit there. Maybe we can mix some stuff in there. Looks good. There. See? So you got kind of a mountain there that's busted in half. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this off. Okay. I'm just kind of looking at things that might be sticking out, things that might not be. Um, let's see here. Might have been easier to come from the other way. So let's go over here, grab some more of this. And we're coming here, maybe grab a little bit more of this stuff here. Doesn't matter. Just how it has a little, maybe a little light kicking right there. Right, maybe down here a little bit. Just some different, make it look kind of cool. Depending on what's hiding and what's not. Probably could have done that. There. there. Pull that down. And want some more blue. Blue. Maybe more. Okay, so we got that. A shadow. Some blue and some white. Okay. Blue and white. And a little brown. Some more white in there. Okay. We're going to come in and make a little more. A little red. I don't know. Ooh, that looks good. Come over here and just have a little, a little shadowy colors in some areas. Just have fun. Okay. When we're down here, you want it to be lighter at the bottom, right? And then it kind of comes this way a little bit. There we go. And that doesn't look too bad on the old uh, screen here. Okay, I like that. And that side, I guess, it, you know, looking at it, it doesn't look too bad. You know, and over here, we can put some more of this shadow color in. You know, as you get down here, we can add a little more white at the base. Or... I think what I'm going to do is put some green in eventually. Maybe I'll come over here, add some of this, add some white to it. Okay, that's coming down. Okay. And we're going to come in and make this a little more bold, right? I want a little peak right here. See that? There's your peak. Another one. That come up, and it gives you a little indication of that. And you could do one here too, maybe. Comes right there and comes down. Look at that. That's really bright. That's okay. That's kind of what we want here, where this the light is up here. There. Oops. I'm just kind of standing up here and stuff. So good. Very good. Piece of cake. Okay. And down below here, I want to take some green on my, I could use black and yellow too, but take a little green right there. You see that? Oh, yeah. Cool. And I'm going to grab a different brush. It might work a little easier like this. Excuse my arm. Okay. I'm going to grab another one. This brush. I'm going to grab some green right here. Take a little of that crimson. 
too much crimson. That's all right. Here, bring it over here. A little brown in there. Green in there. Some white. Way too much. Okay. Just trying to get a dirty green. I don't have any dark. And then I want to bring that down here because it's closer. So I want to get some green down here. See that? Bottom, more color coming in. So that is going to be our water down here. Okay, a little green, brown, a bunch of that in there. Red will kind of kill that. There we go. And you can add more. This is just, you know, get some there, a little land there because this is going to be water down here have some fun with that but see the green in there as it comes closer below that up into the hill too much this is all wet still but you can kind of follow the lay of the land there makes it look better okay and maybe this is some place in montana who knows i like my mic though it uh Seems to be doing a good job. We're going to come back in when this dries and put some more detail in it, too. I think that'll be nice. So now, down below, we've got to match up our water with our sky, right? So I don't want to do too much. I'm going to take white and some blue. Touch of that green. Okay, it's a little green. Blue. Touch of green, not too much. Green it up. More white. Okay. Put some water in down here. Watch this. More green in there. Brown. There we go. Water has green in it, right? Ooh, that looks good. We're just going to have a little fun here. Our water's going to come right to there. Dun, 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 dun. See? Follow that out back up into there. We're going to bring it down. I like that watercolor kind of, it's not, you know, it, it can be your sky. You don't want green and you, I don't put green in my sky much, but you can use it in your, you add a little bit to your water. It makes it a little aqua color. Um, I've learned not to use too much. Um, what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> I learned not to use too much of this mister on the paper because it just makes it boils up and then it ends up being messy. It makes the uh, okay, water's going to come down here. You can kind of turn this one into you can get a little more green in there too if you want. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll have to voice this one over. But yeah, just kind of bring that down. We'll bring some land into there. Maybe. We'll call this a mountain lake. Pretty easy peak to do. All in all, yeah. There. Back and forth here. Okay, how's that look? Can add a little white to it. Lighten it up a little bit. Some areas just to give a little. Mix it up. A light to dark, dark to light. We'll say we're not going to see the mountain in there, but we might. There. Just play with color until you get it the way you want it. And that's the way I want it. I think that looks pretty good. So we got our water. I'm letting this dry up here before we come back and work on it a little bit. Okay. And we're going to have some of this. And there's some yellow ochre on here eventually, too. Color's not there. White and crimson. Okay, I like it. I like it. Okay, I am gonna want to do some more. Just up in my sky here. It's blue and red. Make a little lavender color. Grab some of that brown. There. It's too wet. That's a little wetter than I wanted it. But watch this here and see if we can. much paint on there. It's okay though. Watch 
this. We can come back in and we'll just leave it there. Okay, come in here and just move it there. It breaks down into there a little bit. See that? This way. There. It still looks pretty good, doesn't it? And then there can be little bits of shadows in there. Watch this. Some stuff in there. A little darker. A little bit more of this, maybe. Purple in there. Little shadowy things happening. You can take your finger and blend them out. Not everywhere. And in here, we can come in and do this. See? Like that. Maybe a little more blue. That looks better. Yeah, right up in there where that tip is. See? Grab it, pull it down. Bring that in. Okay. There's some Prussian blue in here, too. Where'd that go? I'll try that. If I can find the Prussian blue. I've got purple, but I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Where's my Prussian blue at? So that one there is black. There it is. Dark blue. That might help us out a little bit without using without using any. There. Super strong color. That Prussian is. Watch this. Get some Prussian. Light in there, though. There. Prussian in there. Why is that so light? It's a pretty good sized brush. I'm going to go back to this guy. A little Prussian blue and maybe a little brown in there. Watch this. It'll come in and get a little, little things happening in there. There. A little Prussian in there. There. That up in there. And maybe some right in here. Well, I scored that white on there, but. Okay, and then come in here and grab this and go this way. Little, little things happening in there. You know, but you just pull the opposite way. Blue in there. See that really strong? So I think that looks pretty good. Okay, we'll get up in here on these edges. Not everywhere. It comes down like that. There. There, and you can kind of. Oh. Grab your finger and pull it out a little bit if you want. There. Okay, I like that. I like that. Maybe we take some more. Watch this. We got some yellow. Did I put any yellow ochre on yet? No. Some yellow ochre up here. There. Oh, look at that. I haven't used it yet. How far in are we? 23 minutes. Not bad. Yellow ochre. That's a good color for. I think that'll be nice on these rocky points up here, you know. But I'm going to try something different though. I'm going to take my liner brush. Looks like it's getting a little banged up. I'm going to get some yellow ochre. Some of this. Okay, watch this. I don't even know if I'm going to need white. Okay, I'm going to come in and I'm going to use him and just kind of see here. Get some little. that up a little bit but also gotta yeah, I'm just kind of put some little lights in there higher areas see it's kind of falling apart because he's been hasn't been taking care of it very nice not much I can do about that now let's get some more of that some of that okay just kind of come in and flat Those highlights are getting on there. Yeah, I like that. Come in here and just tap that in. See? That's pretty good. You know? You want it to stand out a little bit. See how that goes? Kind of gives it a little more. Starts to make it look a little more real. I wish I had another. Yeah, but there's a little piece of. 
fuzz sticking out of there, and that's kind of making it more difficult. It's all right. That's more to it. Okay, more to it. Light it up. Really want to make it bright. In here, and just make sure. So you can see it's messing me up. See how this stuff dries, though? Darkens. I think that's going to have to be how we're going to have it. Now over here, we're going to have a little bit here, maybe. From here. Put down. Have you noticed the uh, oh, little hair sticking? I'm about ready to yank it out of there. I don't know how I'm realistic this is, but it looks good. Okay, I think it's good. Now we're gonna have another small put down. Now maybe the sun's biting, biting over through there. Maybe. Maybe we need some. This is a great liner brush, but it might be past its time. There. Okay, so that gives you some pretty good highlights right in there. I like that. I think that'll look good. Um, and I think our mountain might work out good. I want to do one more thing here. I'll bring it down right through. I want to split this up a little bit. I like that color together. I want to bring it down right here more. I'll try not to get my arm in here. Come down here. Just have you can see this. Watch this. See, it makes that black stick out more. There. Kind of roll your angles down, though, okay? How's that? What do you think? I like it. Okay, I think our mountain, I'm not going to monkey around with too much longer. Okay. I do want to put some, some dark in some areas here, but... Take this brush again. I'm going to get some Prussian blue, a little crimson in there. Put it down to some darker. Almost get some crimson in there. And watch this. You're going to come in, and I'm going to try to get a little dark in here. I want to mess this up, but maybe I can do it this way. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That might be too much. Give it a little bit of lit in here. That. Some of those. Okay. A little bit. Pull that down below there. See? Control your mountain. You can do whatever. Down here, you want to flat it out, though. Okay. A little bit over here. Oh, yeah. There, there. So we've got a little bit of that. If I could, I'd like to try to scrub this out. There. I think that'll look better. It looks good, but kind of pull that in there and pull that into there and pull it out. There. A little darker than I wanted. So see? There. There. Do -do -do -do. Now we gotta have some other areas that aren't are, are not so black in there. Some blue, get some Prussian blue in there, and then watch this. You can come in and add in some little some things. Come in here. We can come in and do some things like this, especially at the bottom. Remember, we want it a little lighter. See, look at that. I like that. Play with color. Play with color. What about that green, though? Move that around. This gives a little more. I'm not trying to kill all my nice dark blues. I'm not trying, you got to throw some other color in there. You can't just. You got to play color against color, right? See, 
That looks pretty good. A little mountain there. Okay, and our water, our land is going to be... What are we going to use for our land? Okay. Looking good. Looking good. So we got to get some more land in here. So I'm going to come in with some green. Some green. Mix it right in here. Grab some of that Prussian blue. Some of this. A little ochre. Put it right there. And that green up here. That's what I want right there. I'm going to come over here and add in some of this color. Get ready. It's going to be... See that? Okay, blend that into there. This is where our water line is going to be. Or our... There. Okay. See? Do that one guy can come out a little more. There's a little thing there. this in here and make some land color. I like the brown though. Okay, brown and crimson. Again, right in there. Oh yeah, what do you think? A little green in there, that's okay. Okay, doesn't need to be perfect. I'll cover it though. Dirty colors, you know. There. Little. I'm going to get my finger dirty. Okay, and I'm just pulling, trying to make, create some ground here. The foreground. Ha ha. Okay. And some dark, some more blue in here. You can come in and use. There. See where the water is? See, I don't want too much of that on there because it'll maybe it comes in like that. You can cover up the blues and just keep your nice water in there. So there, there's your water in the foreground, base of the mountain. I like that. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, there. I'm just drying off my brush the best I can. I need a drink of water, and that looks pretty good. I'm liking what I'm seeing, okay? I might let it dry a little and come back in. Okay. I like that that base. That looks pretty good, you know. I think it'll be fine. You can come back in, though. And get some green some of this color crimson dirty it up a little bit even dirtier green and brown and ochre you know get some of that more back here back here see and over there blend them together remember we want green but we don't want too much green close far away because it'll make it all look closer but we're going to put it right there this is wet, so I can't really touch it. This is the green I wanted to have on it. See that? Pull it down. Follow your angles. There it is. Pull a little bit of that up into your mountain. It crawls up there a little bit. The closer it gets, the harder it is to see the green. I like that green I got. See? Some of this. Where's that color? Watch this. See? Maybe blend those together a little bit. There. Not bad. Add a little bit of a little higher, lighter in there. Watch my light. There we go. There. And if you needed to, you come back in. Ooh, look at that. Love. That color, you know what? Love. Too much, so I don't want to ruin my mountains. Okay, we'll leave that there the way it is. Okay, good. All right, now I want to come in and do some more 
color in front here, and we're going to make this really stand out. You'll like this. Get a little light in there. Touch of ochre. Touch of that ochre and some green up in here. This is closest, right? Add a little light to it. There we go. That's a little brighter, and I don't want it that green. Okay, there. Pull this in. Green. Just gives it some more pizz pop. And it doesn't have to be perfect. That white wasn't intended to be in there. So we'll just, and you can kind of bring it into there and blend it in with that other stuff. I think that looks good because you got more color in the front as it's closer. That looks pretty faded green. Okay. Watch this. I'm going to take this little guy here. Uh, pull another. I haven't used this one before, so we'll come in. I hope my fridge isn't, you can hear the fridge in the background running, but oh well, sorry. This mic might not pick it up, which would be great. Okay, watch this. We'll get some of this green. This is probably not going to look too earthy, but. Maybe it will. We gotta have some fun up front here. Okay, and it's sticky. I don't like to paint that way, but I want to get this done and just bounce this green around. You know, let it come and come in here and follow the water line. You know, maybe there's mountains and stuff back there. We'll see. And a little bit down here, but there, not as much because it's farther away. Good. Pull that over. There. There's a little mountain. Uh oh, we're getting glare. Trust me, it looks good down there. <laughs> yeah, see? You get a little bit over there, too. You can pull that down. There. Okay. Put that there. I can fix that glare. Watch this. I'll put that there. Eventually, we'll go down there. We'll put that there. Okay, so good. Now it's getting close to being done. So I'm going to use this one for my distant trees. And they're going to be back here. I'm going to use some of this. Got a little of that green. A little of that green in there. I'm just going to put little distant trees back here. And they can be darker too. Maybe they'll be dark. Red in there, maybe. There we go. They're far away, but I want them to stand out. Oh, let's do this. Ready and go. But maybe I'll do them here instead. Let's see what happens here. Okay. I'll just leave that back there. And we're going to put little trees in here. Okay. Little trees out in here. This will keep everything at a distance. Okay. Let's pull these in. This brush works great. Can you see that? Make them different sizes though. Because if you don't, and we'll come back in and fill it in. If you don't, then and then they'll look hokey. But maybe one's here, not too high. Okay, I'm just pulling down. Go quickly, be loose with your strokes. Okay. And Come down, touch and pull down. Okay, a little bit farther over here. Redo, get some more paint. Fill in the bottoms a little, so you don't you don't want them to go through. It's difficult there, but there. You could use the. What else we could do? Watch this. This thing again. See if this works. I can come in and use the liner brush too. Let's see how this works. Oh. I think I like the other one better. We'll use that. It's a good little brush. Okay, come back up here, get some of that, get some green, some fresh and blue, some more green in there. Okay, just keep on going. And maybe we just want them to go to here. 
Oh, see, it's tapping. Going down. I know my hand's in the way, but I'm trying to kind of get through here a little quicker than I have some blue in it and some, some ochre in there. That looks pretty good too. Fresh and blue, a little bit of red in there, it darkens up. There. That's what I want. A little darker than I wanted, but oh well. Pulling that down, creating little trees in the bank there. See? Touching and pulling. Push to the side, you make bigger ones. You know, hey, it's not too bad. Here, I'm just kind of trying to make some little indications, you know, here, there, and then and come in the base here and kind of fill them in a little bit. You don't see that water line as much. Makes it look better, maybe. Pull them down. All this way. See, that kind of don't look too bad. Go, oh shoot, too much. That's going to be really. Grab more green. That'll settle down the. That'll settle down the green. Maybe a little bit here. Mirrors want us to come in a little bigger. See, this guy's. Okay, touch. Just pulling down. Now, see. Too much. No. Huh. And some of them look pretty realistic. They're just they're not too close. So and then what we're gonna do is same thing. We're just gonna get rid of the bottoms. I think they look better that way. No. It's down here. It's green in there. Some red, blue, green. All this. Because over here you got a little bit of coming down. Some of those, you can see them. You know, then there's just more trees down here. You can come in and put some of these in as they get closer. Some red. Oh, yeah. See? Keep putting them in. Just little, almost looks like they're shadows, doesn't it? Like maybe that, a little there. You know, maybe there's a little over in here. Some closer ones. You know, maybe there's one here that comes down. I want it to be far away though, so I can't put too much big ones in the front. Maybe there's a bigger one right here. You know, we can do this a little sideways. There's bigger over in here. Maybe there's a little batch of trees there. You know, a little bit of stuff going on down here. I don't know. See that? And you've got all kinds of neat things happening in those trees. And think I think I'm gonna put some more over here I just kind of we're gonna wrap this up okay maybe a few over in here just to bring these a little closer no little little grassy things in there at the bottom just to make it look like okay and then <laughs> We can come in and get some of this green and some brown and ochre. See what that does. That's going to give us a little bit of a yellowy. This green, can you see that? There, watch this. This might be a little bright, but just some areas here. Get a little color up front. You know, just tapping and pushing in, maybe. I don't know. Tap and push. See? Looks like there's something going on there. Not too much. Maybe a little bit of highlights in these trees. Just a touch of highlight in some of these. Get a little color. No? You could put a little cabin in there too if you wanted. Like that. Now, one thing I want to do is try a little more right in there. Try to get that out of there so I don't see it as much. But then you can come in and maybe get some interest. Okay. 
I don't know. There. Hard to do when you... I've got glare on my side too, but it's too bad. And then maybe a little bit. Green, not too much. Color, color. It's right in here, right at the base. See? It's a little more fun to look at. Too much on the edge of the water. And you've got some good looking. Something right there. I think that looks pretty good. I think we need to do anything else. I don't. I think it's finished. I think we can call this one good. And we will have a good day today. Let's see. One more thing. It's blue and crimson. Stand out a little more right there. See that? See that just gives it a little more, uh, more uh, color coming in. Okay, so watch this. Make it look a little more realistic. I like that. I like that. Watch this. See that little ridge comes way down. See that? It sneaks down there. This one gets sneaked out a little bit. That one. The ridge right there. And this one's kind of sneaked out. Just a little bit. It kind of gives it a little more. Makes it a little more tough, a little more interesting, huh? What are we missing? Anything else? 47 minutes. And I think, I think it looks pretty good. Um, one other thing we could do is take and grab a liner brush and grab some color. in there. Maybe, maybe. I don't know how this will look, but we're going to try it out. It's purple. Just mix some color. See how this might go. Just in spots here and there. It's too dark. Too dark. I'll be lighter. I get that at. See, that looks good. Just little bits here and there. Could be too much. A little more white. I'm kind of just going to try and touch. See? Yes. Gives it a little more beach line there. See, that gives it a little water line back there. Maybe it stands out a little more. Not bad, huh? And then you can come in and grab a little, a little darker color. I don't even have much left. Better. Oh, land here and there. Like that. See? Some 
whispering because I'm in a hotel room. Okay. Does that look? That looks better, I think. All right. All right. Now we're going to sign it in red, crimson, whatever. Okay. Test it. Come out of here. And okay. Hey, thanks for watching, and hopefully, you enjoyed this acrylic painting of a mountain and a lake. Have a wonderful day.